Dobre Viecho, everybody. That means good evening in Polish. That was Dobre Viecho. Today's lesson, we're going to do 11.7. We're going to do ratio of areas and heroes formula. Two um, important things. If you were good with chapter 8, you will be fine with this. I will show you two different ways to set up ratios. Ratios of either finding the areas of the two or ratios because you know that they are similar figures. All right. Let's jump right into this and not waste some time here. So we are looking at example number one, find the ratio of areas. All right. Well, we see two triangles. It should be a right angle. Sorry. We see two triangles, um, which you can compare their areas. So we can say, I can find the area of this one. We know the area formula is one half base times height. So we got one half, the base is eight times the height of five. Multiply that over, you get 20 for this area. Over here, we have a side of three and five. So we got, we multiply um, three times five and take half of that. And that ends up being 7.5. So we can compare 20 to 7.5 which reduces to 8 to 3. Okay, So one way of comparing the ratio of areas is finding the area of each one and then setting up the ratio. In this next example, um, we're going to be doing a little bit different. First off, we need to find x. Okay, What do you notice? ABD is a right triangle. And you know this is an altitude drawn to where? If you said hypotenuse, give yourself a point because it's the altitude to hypotenuse rule. Where's the shared side? Over here, the eight's the shared side between what two? Small and large. So eight will be the shared side, goes in spot two and three, remember. The small is the side of x, the large is the side of x plus 12. Cross multiply, you get x times x plus 12, equaling eight times eight, which is 64. This is x squared plus 12x equaling 64. Looks like we're going to factor. A for us. So what do we do? Minus the 64 over x squared plus 12x minus 64. All right, stop groaning now. It's only got a leading coefficient of 1. So what do we do? We go to x and x right away. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 64. Add to 12. Looks like they go, it's going to be positive 16 and negative 4. So this answer is 4. This answer is negative 16. Can this length be negative 16? Yeah, we're in a different dimensional world. So the only answer is 4 in our world. All right. Now we're comparing triangle ABC and BCD. Once again, the formula is 1 half base times height. Okay. One half the base for ABC, this triangle, I would say is four with the height of H. We don't know, but I can plug it in and one half times four times H. In the other triangle, BCD, I could still say um, CD is the base and the height is H. So I could find the height by using altitude hypotenuse rule again. But wait, look what happens when I set up this proportion instead of finding it. The halves cancel out. The h's cancel out. So we have a ratio of 4 to 12, which then reduces to 1 to 3. Check that out. Try it again. Let's try one more time. ABD. So we got ABD, very large triangle. Okay. So we can say the base over here is 16. So we got one half, the base is 16, the height of h. And in BCD, we already did that one, we have one half, 12, and h. Look at that, halves cancel out, h's cancel out, we get 16 over 12, which then ends up being 4 to 3. All right. Questions? If you do, please ask in class tomorrow. Proceeding on, number three, this is a real quick one. It's a conceptual idea. So we know we want to find the ratio of areas between triangle ABC, this one here, and DCB, this one here. 
It says the median, this line is a median of the triangle, divides the triangle into two triangles of equal area. So this line is a median, causing these two and these two to be congruent. Well, that median line divides it into two equal areas. So what do you know is the area? Well, they're the same, so it's basically one to one. They're going to be the exact same area. No matter what you do, what numbers you pick, it's going to be that same area. All right, let's look at number four. Now we're changing gears a little bit. Those other ones we were trying to figure out, you know, they were different sizes, and we were trying to find the areas and do it that way. Okay. This way we're looking at them, and we notice that H is the height, and B1 is the base. So we're saying that these two triangles are similar to each other because they're going to have the same um, H, same B1 by the labeling there. So if you know that the triangles are similar, that means triangles are similar. I'll write that down for you. The sides are in a ratio to each other. So the only thing we have here is we have a side of 7 and we have a side of 3. So the side of 7, the side of 3, is the side um, ratio. How do we get the area ratio? Well, that takes us to this line right here. If two figures are similar with any ratio correspondence of A to B, then the ratio of areas is you take that A to B and what do you do with it? You square it. So we're saying that these two triangles are similar. They're in a ratio of 7 to 3. So what do you do? You take that 7 over 3 and you square it. Well, 7 squared is 49. 3 squared is 9. Does it simplify? Nope. Leave it as 49 over 9. Okay. So basically what we just discovered, we'll do it in a chart format here. Okay. We have similar figures. Okay. If we have, if the, you know the figures are similar, their sides are in a ratio of A to B. Okay. We'll add in their perimeters. Well, what's the perimeter of a figure? Perimeter is taking all the sides and adding them. So, and then you're just going to divide by the number of sides. Well, they have to be similar figures, so they both have to be triangles, or they both have to be quadrilaterals, or they both have to be pentagons, okay? So if you do that, the ratio of perimeters is still going to be A to B. But then, what do you do to find the ratio of areas? You square each number. Okay. So, so knowing that, right, we can look at example 5, right? You have to find the area of a hexagon you will on the upcoming test. What we do is we can break it up and we can say, all right, this side was two, so this is one. We know that this is the root three side and that's the apothem or apothem, you decide. And then we could do our formula one half apothem times perimeter. Well, for this case, one half times if apothem is root three times the perimeter of two times Six, which is 12, and we get an area of 6 root 3. Over here we have a side of 5, so we're going to kind of do the same thing, okay? And meaning that we're going to do um, the triangle. So this is 2.5 or 5 over 2. This is the root 3 side, so the apothem is 5 over 2 root 3. Put it together, 1 half times 5 over 2 root 3 times the perimeter of 30. 5 times the perimeter is 5 times 6. If you didn't know that, you did. Just teasing you. <laughs> and what we can do here is we can figure out when we simplify this, this is 75 root 3 over 2. So there's your proportion, 6 root 3 over 75 root 3 over 2. Well, the root 3s cancel out, and 6 over... 75 over 2, that simplifies to 4 over 25. 
And yes, that was a waste of our time. Because why would we do that when we know that these two figures are going to be similar to each other? We just learned over here in this box that if the figures are similar, the ratio of sides is A to B. So the ratio of sides over here, let me change colors here, ratio of sides is A to B. So in this case, since they're figure, ratio would be 2 to 5. Okay? The ratio of perimeters would still be 2 to 5. The ratio of areas for this figure would be squaring it 4 to 25. What did we get when we found both areas? 4 to 25. finish up here number six two similar figures have a ratio of areas so the ratio of areas uh, areas is three to four find the ratio of perimeters well basically we're going backwards now so we're given this and we want to go back to sides so if these numbers are supposed to be squared how do we unsquare them we unsquare square square root so what do we do we take the square root and the square root end up with the square root of 3 because they can't break up, but the square root of 4 is 2. So this is the ratio of sides and ratio of perimeters. Let's try one more. Let's say I gave you the ratio of areas was 9 to 16. The ratio of areas was 9 to 16. And you wanted to find the ratio of sides. Well, what would you do? You would still, once again, square root these. This one would be 3 to 4. If you started with ratio of areas of 9 to 16, okay? get the idea. If you're starting with that, you go backwards. So how do you do it? You unsquare the square. All right, our last idea for the chapter. Here it is. Drum roll, please. All right, what do we have? We have Hero's Formula, which brings me to a little song by Enrique Iglesias. jam for your iPod. Check it out on iTunes now. All right, here we go. Serious note. Here is formula. So what do we do? We got to find, um, let's take a look at it. What it does is we need this idea of semi-perimeter S. Semi-perimeter is half of what the perimeter is going to be. So how do you find the perimeter of a triangle? You add all three sides, right? Semi going to half. So we're taking it, we're adding up all three sides and then dividing by two. That's going to be the semi-perimeter. If you then need to find the area, this is the formula you have to memorize. So what is it? It's semi-perimeter times semi-perimeter minus the one side, semi-perimeter minus the second side, semi-perimeter minus the third side. It's very simple. This formula works when you have three sides to a triangle and you need to find the area. So what do we do? First off, we have all three sides and we want to find the area. We don't know if it's right. We don't know, we don't know what the base is or the height, but we can find it. So we take 10 plus 12 plus 18, and we divide by 2, and we get that the semi-perimeter is 20. Now we plug it into our formula. It says S, so that's 20, times S minus, I don't care, 20 minus 10, times 20 minus 12, times 20 minus 18. So what do we got? We have 20 times 10 times 8 times 2, square root it, square root of 32 hundo, and that breaks up into 30, root 32 and root hundo, which then breaks up into 10 root 32. But you could still break it up, and you end up with 16 and 2. So you get 10 times 4 root 2, which is 40 root 2 for your unit squared for your area. And then if we want to find the altitude to the longest side, well, the longest side is 18. Okay. So we know that 1 half base times height is the area formula. We know the area is 40 root 2. We know half. We want the base to be 18 and the h to be height. Figure it out. This is 9h equals 40. Oh, we want it to the longest, the longest altitude. Sorry, the longest altitude is the shortest side. So then we get 
5, divide by 5 for it, and then h equals 8 root 2. Hopefully that makes sense to you. We will do more of this, star this one, because this will also be on the test. Good luck to you, and good night.